doing some of your Laravel application logics in the background will increase your application speed, also will give you power to do more stuff in your application. In this series, we want to dive into the Laravel queue and jobs and uh, see the use cases, see how we can configure using RabbitMQ, Horizon and other things and prepare our applications to use this power. So, but in this video, we want to start to use this and refactor a little bit code in our application, in one of my applications. So, don't miss this video and this series. Subscribe and like this video if you want to other people see this. So, and let's go. First step, let's take a look about how we can configure and use a queue in Laravel. I decide to do this with example of CodeRuby Pals. Refactor a section of CodeRuby Pals to queue to make the response faster. So let's do let's first take a look at the connection and the queue config. On the config, uh, we have a queue config file in here, and you can see a queue connection in here. So uh, this queue connection is environment, so you can see on the end and uh, here. This is a queue connection. If you set everything uh, in here, mine is database, uh, it will run this database connection. Uh, if you have Redis, I recommend you to do this in Redis. In future videos, uh, we want to talk about Redis, RabbitMQ, and Horizon, and other stuff that we can manage our uh, queues. So be with us like and subscribe to the channel uh, so this is a queue connection and if you put the sync as a queue connection it's a default uh, it will not run your job in the background and it will be just uh, doing everything normally uh, we are using sync when we are developing a feature or when we are testing a feature on the writing test, we are using sync and we are not using the horizon or other thing in test because it's not testable. It's, it is, but it will take time to test. Test should be run faster. Uh, also, we will talk about the test. Uh, this is some parts, the, this, this is a series and I want to take a look at every corner of Laravel queues, check them uh, together. So after uh, we configure the queue as our database, as you can see, there is a table jobs, uh, but we don't have this table as default, by default in Laravel application, and we must do make it. Uh, we can make it manually, or we can run a command uh, named artisan queue table it will make the migration for us and if you can if you see there's immigration jobs and I just need to run this artisan migrate and everything works in here so let's take a look at the feature that we want to refactor uh, we are storing uh, the pull request by URL means that if you have a pull request on github you can uh, give it to the bot the discord bot uh, this is in here and it's the syntax is something like this add your pull request url in here so uh, first let's make uh, let's run the discord bot in my local host in my local environment and let's see how it works uh, when i do this as you see, uh, it will do everything and uh, will get the information from the GitHub and create uh, the pull request on our database. Uh, so I want to make this faster and first like, let's take a look at where it is. Uh, we have a command here on the console commands, Discord. There's a run Discord bot command and we have a routing in here. Uh, on message, we will check the message routing, and the message routing is in the uh, Discord config 
And as you can see, we are watching for regex add and a sanitization for the URL of the GitHub pull requests. And uh, this is the handler at pull request command action. And here, as you can see, uh, there is a service create from URL. This service will get the data from the GitHub and will create everything for us. But uh, calling the third party API will take a time and I don't want to uh, force users to spend this time. So I want to refactor this and put this service, this command to run in background. So let's make it. First, I have to make a job, uh, make job, and I will name it, this job, as a create pull request by URL job. Okay, so we have a job in here. So uh, on the, here on constructor, we must to define what parameter we need. So here we have the URL, which is a string and a user is uh, our user model. Uh, so we make this user model in here. Uh, so we just here need to protect it. Uh, this is a PHP 8.8, I think the 8 or 8.1 syn syntax and you don't need to register your uh, properties here and uh, value them on the constructor. You just can to can do this something like this a string uh, URL and uh, we need a protected uh, user user. Okay, let's remove this and on the handle I want to copy this in here and instead of service. I want to use the app and use this class. Okay, and this should be dollar this. Okay, and here we need to do this thing, remove this try catch, and for this message. Uh, Okay, just uh, dispatch the create create request by URL job, dispatch it and put the URL and our user in here and it will be dispatched. We can configure config something here to mention our queue connections and other things, but I want to put it run in default. Uh, so we will check this in future video when we use the RabbitMQ and others. We will take a look at the things also. Uh, so in here and um, again, let's run the Discord command. I don't want to run the, uh, you know, the queue for now. Just I want to show you how the queue will store on the database. Then we can run. So I will attach to database and DB and this is the MySQL MySQL and uh, we can select everything from jobs. There's empty. So uh, first let's make a pull request in here. And as you can see, response get faster because we don't have to wait for third party. API calls. So select from jobs. As you can see, there's a job in here. So uh, if I run the job by the command artisan uh, uh, queue work, it will run our job. But we have an error in here. As you can see, pull request service is not required here. It's not used uh, in here. We must do Include this, use this in our class. Uh, so let me refresh the code. And as you can see, our job is empty for now because it tried to run, but it fails. And in future, we can, we will see how we can prevent the fail job and how we 
sheet to rerun the failed jobs. Uh, so here, make another add and take the response. And as you can see, uh, there is a job when it's running and when it's done, again, it's empty. So uh, it works and everything I put to the, the class when we dispatch it on the dispatch URL and user, uh, you can see there is in here. So if I copy every in here and put this, mm, you can see, let me format this. Okay. As you can see, there is the data. Uh, this is the URL of uh, our things. And this is the models, relations, and everything in here. And uh, everything in this uh, payload uh, will be serialized by this uh, trait, serialized model. And uh, it will be in here and uh, put in our constructor and we can hand, use by the hand. So the job works like this and in future videos we will deeper in the job. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like if you interest in this kind of videos. Be with us in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.